There are an overwhelming amount of tools and strategies that make up the modern data stack. It seems like every day there's a new company with a new revolutionary approach to data. And to top it off, the buzzword marketing makes it even more confusing. So let's try to map out some of the various options. Let's start with our data pipelines. We've got tools for extract and load, for storage, for transformation, for querying, analytics, and visualization. So we have two general options, building entirely on one of the major platforms or plugging in various third-party tools. Let's go through an example using Azure as our platform. We start with a batch extraction using Data Factory. This can do ELT using mostly connectors, which are built-in connections to various source APIs. The EL is done in batches, either timed or on triggers. If we want to add streaming from certain data sources, we can add in event hubs. We'll do our storage in Synapse using SQL pools for relational data and blob storage for our data lake. We don't really have a specialized transformation tool. We can use good old SQL or Python. For querying, again, SQL for relational data and then Spark or PySpark for our data lake. Polybase can be used to combine our SQL queries with data lake files. We have Azure Machine Learning or Azure Databricks to do analytical work. And Synapse also has built-in notebooks. And visualization is, of course, with Power BI. Outside of the pipeline, we can do orchestration with Data Factory. For observability, I don't know of a dedicated tool in Azure. Governance, we have Azure Purview. And Data Ops, I think, is supposed to be Data Factory as well, but I'm not quite sure it meets that goal yet. We can do the same thing for Google Cloud Platform. We've got Dataflow for batch ETL, PubSub for streaming, BigQuery for our data warehouse, Cloud Storage for Data Lake. I think our transform options are the same with SQL or Python. Querying is also going to be the same with Spark or SQL, which uses the Dremel engine to query the data lake. We have Data Lab for our analytics, as well as some machine learning, and then Looker for our visualization. Dataflow works for our orchestration as well. And then there's Dataplex for governance and observability. And I also don't think there's a dedicated DevOps tool in Google either. So now to our many options outside of the cloud platforms. We have many options for batch ETL, including Stitch, Fivetran, or Hevo. These are all pretty much connector-based tools. We can also custom build our ETL using Python. We also have some tools that go outside of just EL and include the transformation, such as Informatica and Matillion. For streaming data, we pretty much have Kafka and Spark streaming. Our data warehouse options are generally tied to the big platforms, except, of course, Snowflake. And there's some new competition in this space that probably deserve a spot on this map soon. Data lakes are the big three platform storages. Transform specific tools, I think DBT and Dataform are the top competitors here, but it's also very common to do it all using SQL stored procedures or Python scripts, depending on your storage type. For querying, we'll add in Presto, which powers AWS's data lake queries. And then of course, Hive for Hadoop and Databricks. Analytics, we've got some old school tools like SAS and our custom home-built options using Python and R. And for visualization, we're going to add in Click, Mode, Domo, and of course, Tableau. There's a bunch for visualization tools. I break them out in this BI video in the card here. Orchestration, the tried and true Airflow being the most common one, with Dagster, Prefect, and Astronomer being solid alternatives. Observability has some cool new tools such as Monte Carlo, Datadog, and App Dynamics. Governance options are Oval Edge, TrueDat, and Alation. And data ops, we have Atlan and Miltano. So there we go, the modern data stack. Yeah, there's a lot of options there. There's some that I left out intentionally because I haven't heard of them being used very much yet. And there's some others I left out just because I haven't bumped into them. It's interesting to see which categories are oversaturated, like the batch EL and the underserved ones like data ops. So which of these are the best options? It's hard to say. One, because they all have slightly different use cases, but also because there are so many, I haven't gotten to try a lot of them out or in depth long enough to compare. I'd like to focus on that for this channel so I can give solid advice on the many options. So be sure to subscribe if you're interested so you don't miss out on that series when I get the time to work on it. And also be sure to comment with your favorite or least favorite tools that I haven't included on the map so far. For now, be sure to check out this breakdown of some of the BI tools I've worked with.